In this setup, I will show you how to set up your base as your own Nship station. To do this, you need to create or register an account on custard.mlead.com. We have a different video on how to do this. Once you have done this, you will use the details that you get from your account to configure your base and to also configure your rover. Let's now proceed to do this. This kind of setup is ideal for when you want to have long baselines and when the internal radio of your receivers is not good enough to give you the range that you need. Typically, you will use this in an area where you have network coverage so that you know that you won't battle with network. This will be an ideal way to extend your baseline to a number of kilometers. To do this, we'll start by connecting to our base. To connect to their base, press and hold on Wi-Fi. Find the hotspot of your base. Key in the password. This is MLED Ridge. Select connect. Allow for a couple of seconds. When the notification comes, select tap for options, select don't ask again, then select yes. You only have to do this the first time you connect to the unit. Once this is done, we can close the Wi-Fi settings, open MLED flow. We will now proceed to connect to the base. Now that we've connected to the base, let's go into settings, then we'll go into mobile data and then we'll put mobile data on. This is because we want to use Ntrip. And with Ntrip, we need to have network connection. Once mobile data is on, we will go back to base output, then we'll select Ntrip. We now have to key in the address, the port, the password, and the mount point from the Emlid Cast account that we've created. Let's proceed to do this. From your Emlid Cast account, you will have a password and a mount point. This will be unique for your own account. For the address, this is custer.mlid.com. The port is 2101. The password, you will use your own password from your account. And then the mount point will also be unique to your account. After you've done this, then you can select save. Once this is saved, your base is now set up as an n base station. Let's now proceed to connect our rover to this base station. Before we go out, we'll put correction input off because we're using this as a base and then we'll proceed now to connect to the rover and configure it to connect to our base. We'll connect to the rover on Wi-Fi. Password is the same, Emily Rich, all small letters. Select connect. Allow for a couple of seconds, tap for options, don't ask again, select yes. Open MLED flow. Connect to the rover. Because this is a rover, we will put base output off. We will go into settings, go into mobile data, Turn on use mobile data. Once the mobile data is on, we'll go back to correction input. We'll select on Ntrip, and then we'll add another profile for our MLED caster. The address is caster.mlead.com. Port is 2101. The username, this is unique to your account. 
the password is also unique to your account. So just make sure you have logged into your account and you are able to see these details. You can select your mount point from the list that is available here. Just make sure that it's the same mount point that you used for your base. Then select save. You'll see now the rover is receiving corrections. We have a fixed solution. Now we just need to move our rover about. I am is active and the tilt compensation is also ready. We can proceed to go into survey. We can create a project. The coordinate system we're using is Hart 94 LO29. We are using the South African geoid as the vertical datum. We'll select save. We'll select plus to go into measurements. We'll key in the height of the rover pole. For this case, it's two meters. We'll go into settings. Make sure we're measuring with tilt compensation and the collection rules is on fix only. If the collection mode is on averaging and we're averaging each point for five seconds. Select on save. We'll key in the point of the first point I want to measure. Just move the rover again, just to make sure that the tilt is active. The tilt is now active. Now I'll proceed to measure my point. With this kind of setup, as your base setup as your own endship station and your rover receiving corrections from your endship base, you are able to do a baseline of 60 kilometers. This is what we will recommend for surveys where you have to do very long baselines away from your base. 